All right, questions for Coach Johnson, please raise your hand. We'll start with Michael Lev. Hold on. Here I am. Hey, Jay. Hey, Michael. Um, when did you guys find out that uh, players would be allowed to have guests? Man, I can't remember. I apologize. <laughs> uh, there's been so much stuff with the admin and, and the COVID. Um, you know, I'm really turning my attention to the team and the field. And uh, I, I flipped it when I found out over to our director of ops and uh, left it. It was, it was yesterday or two days, uh, something like that. Sometime this week. Yeah. What did it mean, do you think, to the players? the ones who had family here to be able to look up into the stands and see their mom or dad or whatever. I think it's really cool. Um, you know, I mean, that's pretty simple <laughs> explanation. I think it's probably more important to the parents, to be honest with you. Um, you know, again, I said a couple of weeks ago that these guys are the most important person in their lives. And this is a really cool time in their lives. And I'm sure they want to enjoy watching them play ball at the university of Arizona. And so I think it's exciting for both of them. You know, they have some parameters they need to stay to uh, as far as staying away from them, you know, in terms of masks and distancing, and we're going to hold them to that, um, you know, because we, we've done a good job managing this COVID thing, um, and we want to make sure we continue to do that. How does it help you as a coach, and how does it help your team to have those um, veteran relievers at the back of the bullpen that you know you can rely upon? can't quantify it uh in college baseball the last nine outs are really hard to get uh we learned that one time last weekend we actually learned it twice um you know so to have Vince and Preston and poise their poise and their pitchability um one of the most important pieces of our formula to success this year Christian Mortensen go ahead what's going on coach hey Christian How's it going? Uh, you described your emotion last, last after Monday's game as disappointed in the weekend. Where? How do you assess where you're at right now? Just, you know, I mean, nobody cares about anybody's feelings, you know, really around here. It, what you do and your actions is uh, important. We, we focus on actions and not feelings. And so every day I show up uh, to work and, and prepared for practice. We had two split practices the last two days, both were really productive. And uh, we had a good workout before the game today. And we're just gonna focus on what we need to do to be the best team we possibly can be. I think we're gonna be in every game that we play this year. I really believe that. And uh, gonna have an opportunity to win. So we're gonna keep focusing on improvement on a daily basis, focusing on fundamentals, focusing on competing. And that's really where my head's at. It's a long season and we have a really, tough schedule with good opponents this this one's no different we're gonna see one of the best pitchers in the country tomorrow night and so uh we got to be ready to roll for that what'd you make of chase Ch uh chase's start tonight i thought it was good i thought it was really good um you know this field's interesting place man you, you, you leave one crack we hit the nine hole guy and then you know somebody got a base hit then there's kind of an infield single they roll one through there and next thing you know there's three runs up on the board and so um you know, I think he'll tell you he would have liked to do a little bit more, but uh, he put us in position to win the ball game and and get our uh, guys that we won in the game at the back end of the game in there. And so he did his job, and I expect him to be uh, ready to go next week. And what would you make of just the offensive performance as a whole? Yeah, better. Uh, you know, we want to string as many – want to get three quality at-bats in a row as many times throughout the game as we can. I thought we did that a bunch. I don't think the score um, is indicative of this game tonight because we hit the ball hard a lot with runners in scoring position and we're not rewarded for it. So uh, we're in a much better place. Again, if you just focus on the results, I don't know what we were or what we weren't, but the quality at bats and the hard contact with runners in scoring position, we really got rewarded for. Thanks, Coach. Next question is Seth Litwin. Seth, you're muted. Sorry, Coach. Uh, Seth Lowe in Arizona Daily Wildcat. What did you think of Dante's game from the plate going four for five and, you know, hitting the ball really hard? Yeah, it was awesome. Uh, you know, I mentioned two good days that we had leading into this. Uh, he put in some good work, him and Coach Wanaka. Uh, they did a very, you know, unique drill yesterday that got some things in order. 
for Dante. And uh, he's a good competitor. He's a really good player, which we've seen for the last three years. So sometimes it just takes settling into the season. But he looked a lot more free, a lot more easy, a lot more athletic, and and much like himself tonight. And when he does that, he's the engine of our offense and and makes things go. And he had a not a good game. He had a great game tonight. And then what do you think of the team defensively? Uh, all over, you know, making making some plays to keep, you know, innings from going getting out of hand. Yeah, did, did was that uh, play in the ninth score to hit or an error? Um, hit. Hit. Okay, great. So it's our our first errorless game, which I'm very happy about. Uh, you make plays behind a pitcher like Chase, and a bullpen with Benson Preston, where you make the other team earn everything. You know, that's a, a great formula for run prevention, and uh, is going to be another huge part of a, a blueprint for success for us. So we're going to keep working on that. We've made that a real big point of emphasis uh, this fall and this spring to be better defensively. So that's a really good game and a, and a game we needed, you know, from from a defensive standpoint. That's it for me. Thanks, Coach. Welcome. Uh, final questions for Coach. Go to Michael Love. What happened on that pickoff at second base? It looked like he initially was called out or safe and then called out. Yeah, I, I think uh, he slid into Kobe's foot. And then he realized he wasn't on the bag. And so Kobe reapplied the tag. And I think the umpire realized as well he wasn't to the bag. Right. Um, and there was a sequence, I think it was in the seventh when Vince was in with runners on runners on base and he had got that uh, slow roller to Jacob. Jacob came in, charged it, threw him out. The previous inning had ended with Jacob grounding into a double play and he looked really frustrated. What did that whole um, sequence of events for Jacob tell you about his maturity in terms of shaking off the, the, you know, the double play and then making a good play out on the field. Yeah, I think it says a lot. I think first off and relative to the bat, obviously you'd like to drive something in the air, but he smoked that ball. Like that ball was, he did, he stayed behind it. He did exactly what I asked him to do in terms of getting the right pitch, doing what we wanted him to do with the ball. He just, he hit it right at the second baseman. So um, baseball is unforgiving sport that time and you know sometimes a, a younger player might look at that and go like wait I did everything I was supposed to and I didn't get rewarded so poor me but he's a team player um, he's matured a lot he went right back out there and made one of the biggest plays of the game as you noted so um, showing great leadership great poise great maturity and it's what I'm kind of coming to expect of him and again that's another piece of this team that's really important that he continues to demonstrate that. Sure. And one last thing. Um, they finally got to Seth or to chase uh, the third time through the order. Is that something that you pay any attention to? Oh, yeah, for sure. Not necessarily with him because he's been so dominant. Um, and granted, it's, it's only our second game, but watching him, you know, through inner squads. And I think the difference with a pitcher like Chase is he has tremendous stuff so he can get you out a bunch of different ways. Um, guys like that, it's not as big a deal, but you know, in normal games, uh, we're certainly looking at that, paying attention to that, because that's an important piece in, in uh, you know, setting up the, the bullpen when you're going to go to guys and, and all of those kinds of things. All right. Thank you, Coach. All right, guys. See you tomorrow. All right. Questions for Dante Williams. We'll start with Michael Lev. Dante, you look fine without the hat. Um, <laughs> oh, I wish I had hair, as much hair as you do. Um, so describe that play in the first inning. Did you did you think you were going to catch it? Did it did it pop out of your glove? Um, I actually thought I did catch it. Um, I, I don't really know uh, what everybody else thought, but I was confident that I caught the ball. Uh, but it is what it is at this point. And then you call for the trainer. How, how, why did you do that? Uh, I just got a little scared. I jammed my finger up a little bit. Uh, yeah, that's it. And that was your glove hand as you were kind of rolling over. Okay. Um, Coach Johnson said that you had worked with, with Chief this week uh, on some sort of hitting drill that kind of maybe helped you get turned around. What was that? Uh, yeah, just being loose and through the zone, through the middle of the field and just like kind of being myself and um, just staying fluid and loose. I guess that's that's really sums it up. Huh. And I think I think all four of your hits were kind of between – between the the alleys mm -hmm. right were you trying to just sort of keep it simple and yeah when uh, up there yeah just kind of keep it sim simple be easy in the box and 
you know, just kind of like be smooth, work, work through the middle and good things happen. Next question, Seth Litwin. Hi, Dante. Uh, were you seeing the ball really well at the plate? You know, do you have kind of have an idea what the pitchers were throwing or, you know, what were you thinking of the dish? Uh, I mean, we do a really good job. Coaches do a really good job in, in preparing us and, you know, players take um, all that coaching uh, serious. So, um, I mean, we, we all saw the ball great today. Um, I think it's just a, a great thing that we're seeing the ball good and we're actually putting in the work to, you know, prepare right and you could you could tell that's um going well in the field and then on your fifth at bat you know, uh were you trying a little bit too hard try to go for five for five or you know what kind of happened on there uh no i i didn't see any type of end results going five or five or anything like that i just took that at b a b as its own a b appreciate it thanks Dante. question christian morton what's going on dante hey, I'm sure you like to keep yourself level-headed, centered, regardless of how you do on a night-to-night -night basis. But how do you exactly do that? Because I know you struggled a little bit the first few games of the year, but tonight you're four for five. How do you keep yourself just level-headed, regardless of the outcome? Um, it's it's a big shout out to my teammates, honestly. Um, you know, first couple of games struggled and everything, and it's just they're always there for me to pick me up. And I mean, that's that's I, I give them all the credit and the coaches and just you know, like being great teammates. Um, uh, so many struggles one day and I'll be that good teammate for them. And the, you know, that's what they've done for the past couple of days. And it's just um, keep trickling down the line and, and that's just being a good person, teammate. So it's hats off to them. Final questions for Dante, we'll go back to Michael Lev. What does it mean to your team to have two reliable veteran relievers in Vince and Preston, who when they come out of the bullpen, more often than not, they're gonna shut the other team down. Yeah, um, I mean, it just, the energy that it just brings to the field. I mean, it's it's something a lot of people don't have. So we're, we're definitely grateful to have Vince and Preston, a bunch of other guys in the pen that we know that will get the job done. So uh, it's just, you know, I get out, they come out the pen or something, and it just fires us all up. It gives us that extra boost of, energy, confidence, uh, whatever, whatever we need. And we, we know we're, we, we trust them and we know what we're going to get out of them. And even if that doesn't happen, we, we know that they're ready for the next task and whenever their next opportunity is. Did you have a good view of that pickoff at second base? Uh, I did. I did. I, I have no clue what happened. I, I couldn't tell you. Um, Jay said that, I guess, Kobe's glove, Kobe's glove was between the runner and the base. So, yeah, yeah, something like that. I mean, I was I was just pumped up. I mean, big situation for us. Kobe got the magic moment. I'm excited for him. So, I mean, that's defense wins his game. So, that's that's what that's what we're all about. Thanks, man. Thanks, Dante. Thank you, guys. First question for Chase Silseth. We'll go to Michael Lev. Chase, did you have guests at the game tonight? Uh, yes, I did. And Chase, who uh, who was here? So my father and my grandpa was here. And where did they come from? Come in from? New Mexico. New Mexico. And where, where in New Mexico? Farmington, New Mexico. Uh, How far of a drive is that? Seven and a half. Seven and a half hours? Yes, sir. Wow. And what's your uh, what's your dad's name and what's your grandpa's name? So my dad's name is Chad Silseth and my grandpa's name is Frank Diaz. Frank Diaz. Okay. And what did it mean to you to have them here? Yeah, I mean, it's awesome, you know, just kind of got the extra butterflies, you know, just seeing your parents up there again, because uh, it's been forever since they've been able to see me play because at junior college being farther um, than I was here. Um, so just seeing them, just seeing them and seeing other people's families up there is just awesome to see. And it just is like one of those things that we're going in the right direction. And hopefully here in a couple of weeks, we can have some students get in here and then I'll, sometimes some fans It'd be awesome. Sure. Did you did you have more adrenaline? Would you say because of that? Did it impact you in, in that way? Oh, definitely, definitely. Um, it's it's just like awesome because um, it's like one of those feelings. Like you guys helped me get here. Uh, you guys were a big uh, influence on me through my whole life, and just to see see them get to see me 
out here at a dream school out here just living my dream just competing and here at the University of Arizona it just makes it much that much more better um, to see because you obviously want to do good for them and just do good to help the team win as well. Next question Christian Mortensen. What's going on Chase? How's How it going? Going good. How yeah. important do you think it was to get out of that first inning with uh, no damage done you know run around third one out how important was that for you? Oh, definitely uh, very important, you know. Um, that's just one of those things of pitching, you know. They're going to get hits off you, and you just got to keep competing. And that's what I did at first double. Um, it's, it's tough, you know. Just didn't didn't quite find the zone as I wanted to in the first inning. Um, Dante almost made a heck of a play out there. That would have been game-changing, too, for momentum. But, you know, just kind of wanted – you just got to keep competing, you know. Um, people are going to get on base. It's going to get uncomfortable, but you just got to keep going and – when you can get out of an inning like that with a leadoff double, no runs uh, with any team in the country, um, it, it's it's just nice and it lead, uh, leads leads into momentum like that that we got there and our offense end up putting up three. So you know anything you can grab to get your team momentum, and I mean that's huge. It's a momentum grabber right there. So thank you. Next question, Seth Litwin. Hey Chase, congrats on the game. Um, do you think it gives you a little bit more, you know, you go out there looser when, you know, the team's swinging the bats well and putting runs on the board? Definitely. It gets you too loose. Um, you know, I kind of kind of got a, a little too loose there, as you can say, kind of, you know, I kind of lost the mentality there and that in one inning kind of gets bad. And, you know, we're we're just going through. We're, we're, we're kicking the team. Uh, you know, we got to we got to put them down instead of just going through the motions uh, and just being complacent, kind of got a little complacent there you know, too loose, you know, with that lead, it's just one of those things that, you know, you, that you can get mentally, um, that you just got to stay in the fight, stay engaged, and you just got to keep going so you can still feed the momentum to our offense um, and not not get complacent in that. Awesome. Thanks, Chase. All right, final questions for Chase. We'll go back to Mike. In, in uh, both of your outings, you left with runners on base and the bullpen came in and got the job done. They helped you out. What is it like to, to know that you've got some veteran relievers out there who can come in and put out a fire? It's awesome. It's a great feeling, you know. Obviously, it's one of those things that is good for me, but it's just good for the team. Um, just, you know, not just coming behind me. Uh, anybody they can, they just have a lot of trust in them. Everyone has a lot of trust in those guys that came out tonight. Um, I have a lot of trust in all our pitching staff, and it's awesome to have those guys that, you know, you, when you're done competing, you can just say, okay, here to the next guy, your turn, let's go. Uh, I'm going to have your back. So instead of getting, when you get pulled out of a game and kind of being sad on your outing or what you could have did better, you're on the fence right there. And then after the game is when you review. So it's just nice, you know, when you can hand, hand off to veteran guys like that and also learn from them in those situations uh, that other people can get better. So it's just an inex inexperienced inexpensive experience that people are learning there too uh to be good at but you know uh it's it's, uh, it's awesome seeing them come in and do their thing sure i think this was jay said this was your first game this year without any errors there were also several outstanding defensive plays that were made as a pitcher what kind of confidence does it give you knowing that you've got guys behind you who can who can field the ball and, and get guys out makes you just want to keep getting them more you know it's just that feeds you uh pitching like you know, getting ahead in the count feeds them and getting ground balls feeds them. And when we can move in a, in a good, you know, rhythm and good tempo that we can get there, it's going to them want them going to want to make plays and it's going to make me want to just keep feeding the zone because, you know, you got people behind there. So it gets a uh, great confidence for me and them. Uh, it's like just one of those things. It's a team game. So just attack the zone. They'll, they'll do their job. And then when they do their job, it makes you want to attack the zone more too. So it's, it gives awesome confidence as a, on a pitcher. Thank you. All right. Thank you, everybody.